with Chinese Garden. And today I'm bringing you along with me to make my soil blockers more comfortable. I ordered them recently. I did a video, the soil blocking in 2023. I'm going to try that method this year for some seed starting and I wanted to get them ready, which means I wanted them just a little more comfortable than they come. They come as a metal set with no padding and I have heard from multiple different sources that all that pressing down on that metal over and over again can be, oh well, not so comfortable. So today I am going to show you how my husband and his friend Ben are helping me fix that. And they go from all metal to looking like this with a nice little pad on them. It's not literally a pad, it's like a rubber coating, but it's much nicer. So we will cover that today and I'm also doing a little unboxing that I have received for some more seed starting items. So come along, we'll show you how to go ahead and do this. It was a little bit of a trip. Learn some things you should definitely not do. Learn some things that work well and we'll take you on that ride today. Come along. We are getting ready to spray my soil maker sets. I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it's gonna work. We're using the spray instead of the dip. We'll see how it goes. There's my husband, making it work for his wife. Looking good, babe, looking good. This is the Plasti Dip we chose to go with, which is a spray from Amazon. Okay, this is our pseudo setup here to spray this, our mini paint shop. Our friend Ben rigged up this little uh, straw. Actually, hold on, oh. we have to modify. Oh, we're modifying. We're you modifying. You can't get this because this has to go deep in, so you you have to literally cover the whole thing. That's why I said just put this little straw piece in here. Oh. Oh, well, I want this so you can spray both sides because we need to keep it up. Just like that. There you go. Get it, get it there spray. we go. Get Perfect. So the straw is covering the middle. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, yes! Look at that beautiful red! Multiple I'm here minutes. for it! Mm -hmm. We have to wait 30 minutes. You gotta stay over there, Bridger. Okay. It's pretty feely. I would do it upstairs in the garage. But they say they just want to do it down here in my basement. So. I'm thankful for the help. We'll do it however they want. The big one, they rigged this up, genius, a straw in the middle and then paper on the bottom. That's so I'm just going to be handy. Very good job. Very good job, Ben. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. First layer. Perfect. rotate slowly because the paper three coats in and the spray was self leveling which was extra nice and then they moved it outside okay I have brought these in from the outside because the last couple coats my husband turned on a light bulb upstairs and sprayed these outside in that same cardboard box container here's the outdoor station they brought it to which is much better than doing it inside however I did notice just now there's some red paint on my dining room table outside. They didn't at least uh, put a towel down, but you know what? I'm grateful for their help and this is an old table, so it's not a big deal. However, if you're doing this at home, put down a ragged towel or something so you don't get red or blue or whatever color you're spraying everywhere. But this is definitely much better than inside, for sure. So it is now a couple days later and here we are 
I'm getting ready to on paper these, if you will, and take this straw out in here and see what the final product looks like. The remaining hardware that has to go back on these is downstairs, and I'll probably have him help me get that back together. But let's get through what we can here and move on. Okay, we'll do this one first. I was a little worried about this. Oh, just like that, okay. That's pretty good, a little bit of tape. Oh no, not even really much paint there at all. Good, okay, that's fine. Then the straw, we pull out. Nice clean edge there. Great thinking, Ben, with that straw. So this is trash. Then we'll put this back together. So that one's good for now. Let's unwrap this. Our friend Ben is so handy, he's so smart. This was kind of his brainchild after I told them what I wanted. Voila! Okay! Also looks really nice. It's nice and smooth. Excellent, excellent. Now same thing. This comes out. Great. Straw. Should lift out pretty easily. <laughs> Little more sticky, but not bad. Pulled from the bottom, pulled from the top. Clean edge. And then we'll put that one together. Good so far. Went downstairs to look for the extra equipment and I could not find it. It wasn't where I left it. Ooh, but I ended up finding it, so we dodged a bullet there. However, I'm not sure what goes which with which device. So this one, obviously this is where the seed press is. That has to be with the smaller one here. This one is the four cell. I understand that has to be with the bigger one. I'm thinking smaller for this little tool. Axel, don't run over the camera. This smaller spring has to be with the smaller one. I'm not sure about this black. You see it, this black little tube. Maybe the big one. My husband should remember, he has the best memory. And I think longer spring with the long one. But we're gonna wait for him to uh, put this all together. Not my strong suit. Now while I wait for my husband to get home to put the soil blockers together, I am going to get a package from my porch from Gardener's Supply, but I can't remember exactly what I ordered, but I know it's something for seed starting season. So let's go grab that and open her up. Oi, oi, oi. I know what it is now. It's heavy enough, I know. You think we got another package? Oh wait, but this one's for me too. If it's for me at this time of the year, it's something to do with seed starting, so. Oh, oh, oh. We'll open that one too. Ooh, another one, okay. So this is interesting because I thought that I got on Gardener Supply to order this and then realized I'd have to pay shipping for it. So I ordered this on Amazon instead because it was free shipping, but I guess I did it and I guess I ordered this anyways. Turns out I did just order it from Amazon and it ships from Gardener Supply with free shipping. So use Amazon. What I'm thinking it is, before I open it, is the Vermont Compost Company Fort B Compost for my seed starting, which is very exciting. I'm right. Yes! Vermont Compost Company for the potting mix. And I'm gonna use this for all my soil blocking and a, at least a majority of my seeds starting too. So, very exciting, the soil's here. I have not used this before, but I hear wonderful things. So I'm gonna give it a go and see how she works. Let's see what else we have here. This one's already halfway open. Potato masher, yes! 
Remember I told you in my soil blocking video for 2023 that Lisa Mason Ziegler recommends using a potato masher for mixing up your soil with your water and then also for scraping off the edges of the soil block maker to have a nice crisp edge. So look at this, oh my goodness. It matches my soil black maker. How cool is that? I actually didn't do that on purpose, that color matching, but I approve. Just an Amazon purchase. I don't think there's a packing slip, but I'm pretty sure I paid like 10 or 12 bucks for this. So this will stay with my seed starting stuff. Not gonna use it in the kitchen. I don't really use much in the kitchen. Uh, let's see what's in here. Feels like something that maybe might not be garden. Nope, it's something garden. Gosh, all these are coming very fast. I guess the Christmas rush is over. My best friend, Kayla, if you're watching this, stop watching it now. That I'm going to visit in Cincinnati soon is uh, getting one of these as well. I got all of them for her family members because. I love wearing them. It's my favorite stocking hat. In green, this is the green merle or something like that. I'll put the color on the screen that I got, but I'm finding these for 20 bucks and I think that's a great deal on Amazon is where I got this. And now her and I have a matching one. I accidentally opened up hers and was wearing it. Oh, I shouldn't have opened this. It's okay, it's okay. The tag's on it. We're good, we're good. So now we'll be twinning when I visit. Okay, my husband AJ is home now, so we are going to figure out how to put these back together. We just did a trial run and it worked. So, he did a trial run and it worked. So let me zoom in and we'll figure this out. So for the big one, we're going to take that tray, slip it right in there. The long spring goes into the long rod. Connect it back down in there. Turn, 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 turn. And there we go. That one's done. Next. The small one, we're gonna take the tray, put it into the black. Small spring goes onto the rod. Put the little black cylinder. Spacer. Spacer down toward the silver part and press down and twist. And voila! And so there we have it. These are complete, working, functioning just fine and a lot more comfortable with a little bit of padding there from that air sprayer. I'll put on the screen again what that was, the brand, but it worked really well. I'm very happy with that. Big thanks to my husband and Ben for helping me with this, and now we can get to soil blocking this month. Thanks for coming along with me today, and hopefully that was helpful. If you're looking to do the same thing, I know Nicole from Flower Hill Farm used the dip plastic, and I'll put her video down below too so you can see that as well. But uh, I think either one absolutely works and now we can have some comfort while we're soil blocking. That's it for today, everyone. We will see you in the next one. Be sure to like this video if you did find it helpful and subscribe to my channel to follow along with all things garden. We'll see you in the next one. Happy planting. Bye.